Neurology quiz number 90. Discuss the etiology, clinical features and management of paroxysmal dyskinesias. Paroxysmal dyskinesias or PDs are rare episodic hyperkinetic movement disorders which include chorea, dystonia, athetosis and balism, isolated or in combination. Patients are asymptomatic between episodes. Paroxysmal dyskinesias are of three types. Paroxysmal kinesigenic dyskinesia or PKD, paroxysmal non-kinesigenic dyskinesia or PNKD, and paroxysmal exercise-induced dyskinesia or PED. PKD may be sporadic or familial. Sporadic cases are more common in males. It occurs in the first to the second decade of life and peaks at puberty with improvement or complete resolution during adulthood. Paroxysms are brought on by sudden movement, sudden acceleration or startle. Dystonia is the most common abnormal movement reported, but chorea, bolismus or a combination of movements can occur. Attacks are usually brief and involve one or more extremities and last from few seconds to few minutes. Episodes can be unilateral or bilateral. Patients may describe sensory aura such as limb paresthesias. Involvement of the face or jaw may affect speech. There is no alteration of sensorium. There may be multiple daily attacks up to a hundred a day or only a few attacks a month. Patients are normal between attacks. EEG and brain imaging are normal. This video shows a patient with PKD having an episode on attempted voluntary movement. Genetics, PRRT2 is the most common gene affected in PKD. It is located on chromosome 16. It is inherited in, as an autosomal dominant condition with incomplete penetrance. A significant number of sporadic cases also have a mutation in PRRT2. PRRT2 or proline-rich transmembrane protein is highly expressed in the central nervous system and is believed to be involved in neurotransmitter release. Treatment, PKD shows good response to anti-epileptic medications, often at doses lower than required to treat epilepsy. Drugs most commonly used in the past included carbamazepine and phenytoin. Other medications noted to be effective include levetiracetam, lamotrigine, topiramate, and valproic acid. PNKD is associated with intermittent acts of dystonia, chorea, or athetosis. It is more common in males. It usually begins in infancy and frequency and severity peak at puberty with possible remission in adult life. It is not triggered by sudden movements but can be precipitated by caffeine, alcohol, sleep deprivation and stress. Attacks are longer than in PKD, lasting minutes to hours and are less frequent. Consciousness and sensorium are not affected. The patient is normal between attacks. Brain imaging and EEG are normal. Genetics, the most common mutation in PNKD is seen in the myofibrillogenesis regulator 1 or MR1, MR1 gene located on chromosome 2. MR1 is involved in protein synthesis and mitochondrial function. The disease is inherited as an autosomal dominant with incomplete penetrance. Treatment, identification and avoidance of precipitating factors is recommended. Anti-seizure medications are usually ineffective except for benzodiazepines like clonazepam and diazepam. There are case reports of other medications being effective, which include haloperidol, anticholinergics, diamox and valproic acid. PED is triggered by sustained exercise. The age of onset is usually in childhood but may range from 1 to 30 years. It is characterized by discount in 
induced by prolonged exercise of 15 to 60 minutes in duration. Other aggravating factors are cold, psychological stress, fatigue, and lack of sleep. The most common abnormal movement is dystonia, but bilismus, chorea, or arthrosis can occur. Frequency of attacks varies between one per day to one per month. The attacks last five minutes to two hours and are typically restricted to the exercise limbs. Brisk deep tendon reflexes, developmental delay, and intellectual disability, which is usually mild, may also be observed. In some familial forms, epilepsy or migraine can co-occur. Genetics The SLC2A1 or solute carried family 2 member 1 gene mutation is the most common cause of familial PED. It is located on chromosome 1 and codes for the glucose transporter 1 protein. It has been proposed that an energy deficiency upon exertion caused by reduced glucose transport is a cause of this paroxysmal movement disorder in SLC2A1 related cases. The mutation can be inherited as an autosomal dominant or can be sporadic. Treatment. There is no specific cure or treatment, but avoiding precipitating events such as prolonged physical exertion helps improve the symptoms. A ketogenic diet can prevent attacks and may lead to improvement of developmental delay in affected children. This table shows a summary of the clinical features of the various kinds of paroxysmal dyskinesias. This figure shows the genes most commonly associated with the paroxysmal dyskinesias.